All right, long time no see. Um, I thought I'd update everybody on my little Porsche project there. It is a 1997 Porsche Boxster 2.5 and there's nothing much more to say about it. So that's it. I'll see you later. No, only joking. Apart from, I took the 2.5 engine out because it was absolutely poo and I'm in the middle of putting a 20 valve engine in it. So let's have a look. I am sending the ramp up. Side vents. Ooh, sports car. Okay then. This is the bit that people normally want to see. Um, this gearbox is the Porsche gearbox, the original one out of the car, but in a 2.5, it's actually a Audi A4 gearbox or a Passat gearbox of the same year, like a sort of B5 shape. So what that means is throw the 2.5 engine in the bin, get a Passat or A4 clutch, bolt that to a 20 valve and the 20 valve will bolt straight onto the gearbox with some different bolts. So that's your engine on your box. Um, I've just got some mock-up um, gearbox mounts or transmission, if you're American, um, at the moment, because I didn't like the way the box sat. It seemed to have tilted right up to the boot floor. A uh, bit weird. Uh, the engine wasn't flat. It just meant it would just looked terrible. So what I've done is I've chopped them and I've brought it down so it, the sump ends up level and it's all level now so what i'll do i'll remake them both mounts now i know it's level and it'll be a lot better next up the engine at the moment that's just a mock-up engine it will run um so it was originally out of golf so i put a a4 sump on it with a different pickup so all your oils out the front just like it would be in an A4, basically. Um, then, this is the original engine mount out of the Porsche, and I've made an adapter that bolts straight onto that, onto the engine, and then mounts to the original way your aluminium mount used to bolt on. So that bolts on, flat plate down, and that picks up on there. That's not going anywhere. Um, so that means if you have any trouble with the mount or whatever, it's just a Porsche part. And plus you can get an uprated uh, inserts like off Powerflex and whatnot to put in there. So I think I'm going to end up probably doing that. Um, the engine will have a G25 550 turbo. This is a cast one made for like A4 and whatnot. It actually puts the turbo in a nice position. Uh, GFB wastegate there. Um, use lots of them in all my projects. Never had one fail ever. Um, start motor, obviously, a bit boring. Um, other things like um, coolant. Let me get the uh, light over here. Coolant system. They're the original Porsche shells and adapted from the size down to 32 mil, which are normal size. Um, the coolant path in a Porsche is quite complicated-ish. It's got two radiators at the front, flow, return, used to come back to a water pump there, then had another circuit back up to the boot. So trying to, I followed the diagram, so that should work, but don't know yet. Um, that's about it for there. Next up would be uh, the power steering. So this is the original high pressure line going to the rack. So I put an adapter on there to take it to a flexi hose, which I'll have crimped on, which will go to the original high pressure side of the pump. Um, gonna run that pump with the Porsche fluid. So hopefully that'll be all right, because obviously Porsche rack, they are two different fluids, but um, there's only one way to find that out, which is um, try it. So I'll try that, I think it'll work. Um, I've got a golf header tank for the power steering there, which obviously that's like your low pressure, that's like your feed. I'm just going to mount that up on the bulkhead up there so you can get to it, for topping up and stuff. So 
Um, that's an unknown at the moment, so we'll see if that works. This is the uh, exhaust system, the charge cooler, uh, turbine housing for the turbo. Um, this is a downpipe I made, um, and one of my friends, Ian, welded it all up. Um, so, yeah, that's wastegate back into the exhaust. Um, you've got a small back box, and a link pipe. That's the only boost pipe on the car because the charge cooler goes straight into the inlet manifold. Um, got a temperature probe up up there um, before the charge cooler. Then obviously the inlet's got one in it, so I'll be able to see before and after, uh, see if it's doing a decent job at all. Um, and any GT bung in the turbine housing. Um, keep our eye on them temps. To cool the um, charge cool, car, char, water to air charge cooler, um, I managed to get a Boxster S, which is 3.2 auxiliary radiator. This is middle one, so the radiators are on the side on a Boxster, same as a 911, in there and in there. And then the higher powered ones have another radiator in between. And then you'll notice like a box to rest if you have a look at the front bumper has got another vent in the front of it, like a mouth. Um, but I'm gonna use this for my charge cooler. So pipes front to back, fits OE, bumper back on, it's got a proper vent. So there's no reason why it shouldn't work pretty decent. And if it does uh, get a little bit hot on the tech side, um, you'll put a meth bung in there. Um, so that should help matters. Gonna be running the car on a ECU Master EMU Classic. Look how, I've not got a massive hand, but look, tiny, aren't they? Um, kept the cable throttle on this engine. Um, so there's no reason to, uh, wow, that's loud. Tum -ti -tum. Okay, yeah, somebody dropped something. Um, yeah, there's no need for what this car needs to go to a black. Um, I don't need all the inputs and outputs really and fly by wire even though if I wanted to you can get an extra box for this to make that fly by wire but no real point um, that does tons mega value and handle I also sell these if you want one so if you're interested in any ECU master products give me a shout did I also say that I sold GFB products as well no did I you yeah yeah and back round to the turbo side again. I've just started to make the turbo drain with an AN10 adapter into the sump. Um, and now I can put the turbo back on and whatnot. I can cut me uh, cut it down to size and get that on. I can, I'll, I'll do that in the next update. Then I'll probably have the exhaust back on. When I got this car, um, the previous owner was doing a bit of, he was going to turn into a track car, I think, before the engine started to sound horrible. Um, and he upgraded front and rear brakes to box to rest brakes which is Brembo's all round. The discs are absolutely disgusting because his car's been stood for ages. So the suspension so I'll have to rate that and redo them all. But mega bonus because I'll be changing them to the Brembo's anyway. So um yeah awesome. Interior wise just your usual boxer thing, leather seats, whatnot. Um but one other important thing what I wanted to do was um get the engine vitals on the actual Porsche dash, rev counter, coolant temp, oil temp, oil pressure, um, all those type of things. I want it to work properly on the dash, so it took some time taking the original loom apart and um, label and everything, so hopefully I can get it to all work. And in the rear is this uh, snake's wedding. Um, so that's where all your ECU for the engine and relay engine control relays are in the boot of one of these so at the moment um peeled apart the original loom i've marked lots of things it looks terrible at the moment but as it gets pruned away and things i don't need go and then once it's all wrapped and the acu's uh, mounted on the back here um it'll look a lot neater but at the moment it yeah it does look terrible so at the moment we're going through uh, golf wiring diagrams for the actual ECU and then Porsche wiring diagrams to pick out the separate wiring pin data and stuff like that. Um, very, very time consuming, but um, there's not tons of wires. Like it's not some mega conversion, but 
I just want everything to work. Right, that's it for this video, guys. If you want to uh, follow along with what happens to the Porsche Boxer 20 valve conversion, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to see other, any other details, just um, jump in the comments. Um, I always look at the comments. Um, so yeah, see you in the next one.